All right, so I'm here with Shane with What's Aqua up? Concepts Hawaii. Another tour. He got in a shipment of amazing fish, and we're just gonna take a look at what he got in. So, lead the way. Uh, okay, so first off, nothing is labeled. Sorry, um, just got it in yesterday. So this tank right now is um, what we call here rocket killifish or the clown killies. So those are pretty good, great nano fishes for your nano community top swimmers, mid swimmers. Mm -hmm. The next tank over, we have these are the regular hill stream loaches, um, spotted hill stream loaches. I know you got in the butterflies, yeah. Yeah, I got the um, the bigger ones. What is that? Um, the tiger stripe hill stream right. loaches, which is in the tank right next to it. Wait, now this um, is what I've been looking for. Breeder size CBDs. Oh yeah, look at the look how big these are. You don't see these for sale at this size too often. And they're fairly cheap, so I'm these ones are breeder size, so I'm selling them at I think like five, four or five bucks each. Nice. Next tank over we have Sudomigo Luminaris and um, Chili Rasboros. Got um, a bunch of like um, near right horn snails. There is some um, Anubias Diamond and Anubias Nana inside. Petit Nanas actually. Then in the next tank over, sorry for the darkness. I mean, I gotta put in a light. Um, there's Panda Garas. And this is something kind of rare you see in the hobby, which is the thread fin of basses. They're like glass fish, but they have a nice thread fin when they get kind of big and they get onto the bigger side, maybe about four or five inches. I know they, just, yeah, I remember seeing them kind of bigger, but the thread fin's nice. I'm gonna have to pick up some of these guys, school them. So next time over, we have the, I think the blue purple ember, uh, emperor tetras, and we have the albino tetras. The blues are nice. Albino emperor tetras. And then in the back, we got some plants. And then this, now we go to the bottom tanks. Uh, we have, I only have like a couple of that noise left, but there's a lot of peacock gungeons that just came in the other day. Nice size ones too, they're not too small. Usually I get them in smaller, but these ones are actually nice size ones. Next tank over is the, uh, those are rainbow shiners. Uh, what type of synodontis is in there? Oh, that's the rare of polis. The oh. synodontis polis. The white polis. Nice. The, they're super rare. They're hard to come by. They were actually on the ICUA list at one point in time. And they stopped. Are so they actually come, they're, they're coming back in the hobby right now. Are these guys captive or? Uh, these ones are actually ca captive, right? Okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, so actually I scored it. It was a pretty good price too. Nice. Yeah, uh, nice. Next tank over are the... Regular um, Emperor Tetras. Some uh, Pygmicories. Yeah, and, and a lot of Pygmicories inside. Uh, the one thing that I noticed about quarries nowadays is now you can't treat them with your, your typical um, uh, medication in a store like Super Cure or non cake some stuff like that, because a lot of it carry formalin inside. Mm. The quarries are uh, very vulnerable to the, uh, the formalin. They actually die on the formalin. Oh. And the next one over is your Black Emperor Tetras, and I think I have... Oh, it was these, the Suo Westy I think that's one of their names, but I know it's... The, yeah. no, no, this is the Golden Miley Gobies. Oh, okay. So I see, I've seen Miley these before. Gobies. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, something I'm really tempted to pick up. I see, I think I've seen something like this or similar, but really nice. <laughs> All right. The next one over is the Purple Gungeons. Yeah. These ones actually get kind of big. Yeah, I've seen them full size. I think I had one of these full size before. Yeah, and they're, they get nice. They yeah. look like a sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one over is the Pseudomuvo Gertrudes. Um, and there's some rummy nose tetras inside, but yeah. Um, but yeah, these are the yeah, these are the Gertrudes. Are they I'm the Gertrudes or are they the um, other one, the other rainbow? The... Um, this might be the cel no, this is actually the, the celebes. This, yeah, celebes, yeah, because the eyes is the, too big. Yeah, the gratuities is the one next over. Alright. But Here's now a it, that tank is super dark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't really see them in there. And you're out of Faha. Well, yes, you're out of Faha because you have gratuities in there. Yeah, I'm out of Faha. Alright. So, a lot of cool nano fish. A lot of these I'm tempted. So, let's move over. Well, you got the Norte Bunkers Blue 3 Eyes in the standing tub. Then uh, you got the brain shrimp farming and whatnot going on over here. Uh, look at these guys. So pretty. Look at the colors. Try not to keep the water low for the evaporation level for being higher versus being, you know, higher volume tank and the evaporation level is lower. Mm -hmm. These are annuals, so I, I mean, I kept something similar. 
Those were actually there for two years, I think. These are two years. Yeah, two years. I mean, most the other like nodal branches I had was an annual one. Yeah, so a lot of the purple color ones. It was a black and blue spotted one. Yeah, that one like the pygmy sunfish, almost like the pygmy sunfish. That's an annual. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So a lot of the species are annuals, but there are some that are very like they can live. Oh, so well, that's years. good to know. Yeah, so I may have to. I I may I was thinking about trying to breed a nodal branches. I may have to maybe get some of these. And here's your branch of farm. All right, let's move on to these tanks. This is probably what everybody wanted to probably see because they're gonna see it on Jesse's tube later on. Yeah. But. And I'll do a video on these guys too. I, I was meaning to pick up more to I can create a more professional tank with some baby archer fish, which I actually did get from you. <laughs> but. So mud skippers. Mud skippers. So these are the graceful mud skippers, the normal ones I bring in. Very peaceful, actually. You know, a lot of people are questioning it because they're. They were saying they were reading up on it and they were like aggressive but actually these guys i mean they stay in these tanks together mm -hmm. um on a time until they're sold and mm -hmm. they get along with each other yeah that's good they look good they, i mean they look really nice i have one graceful and one indian i my mudskipper tank um ended up i think something happened to it but i only was able to sort of get to but keep Keep two, two. <laughs> or just one graceful and one Indian, but yeah. So I was meaning to pick up more, and uh, I'll set up a professional tank, or, or not professional, but a better tank. But yeah, all right, nice. Mudskippers look good. All right, let's see. So what the else. last tank over is um, Asian wood catfish, and those are the real zingle angel fishes. Oh, yes. There's a ton of them actually. Yeah, so, them. so these guys eat wood. Is that is that how they no, get the they, name? They blend it because the patternization is like a. Like a wood, you know, the design of the lining in the wood. Oh, it's I see. Like, uh, you know, when you look at something like a, a wood piece, it looks like a, you know, the, the striping. Right. Of, you know, let me just move this. Actually, I got my. So a lot of them are underneath the scar. So you'll see them all run out. Oh, there you are. Oh, though, these are cool. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. And they're pretty. Pe are, are they? Oh, are they shy too? Are they like like in uh? Like um, a I mean, typically like cat? any tap. Um, typical cat catfish. Okay. You know, nothing like a shark, like a pangasius or something. Speaking yeah. of pangasius, I have pangasius. Right, this look good. All right. What else we have? We have the red rainbows. Nice. Then we have pink tail chalias. Oh wow, they're a little small. Yeah. Smaller side. Nice. We have the golden uh, chromids, the orange okay. chromids. Then you have the banded chromids, the green chromids. Mm -hmm. And then we have the one inch frontals up. Now the chromids, if I'm not mistaken, these can be brackish water too, right? Like yeah. the orange ones I've seen. Yeah. And the mangrove jack. Oh, you have mangrove jack. I've had them in the past, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the bottom tank, we have There's the green pegasius. long fin. Oh, yeah, yeah, the pegasius. We have the green long fin barbs. Okay. And then we yeah, have long, one the long fins are good. Yeah, they're super nice, actually. I'm kind of impressed with the colorization. Just kind of. Some of their tails are kind of beaten up in the travel. Right, but, but I mean, that can just be. I'll clear yeah, it off within a couple, within a day or two. Nice. And it'll grow back in a little week. Oh, it's still good. And the clown loaches. Yeah, and the one inch clown loaches. And the pangasius. Still got the pangasius inside. So, oh, if your viewers are wondering what all these bags in the tanks are, if you turn around in the bucket, these are slow releasing bacteria balls, which I put in the media bags to kind of help. We do stress, keep the biological bacteria going inside of the tank. Do you always just do this when you, you when you get no? It, it's in the there time. all the time. Oh, okay, okay. So when there is no fish inside, the balls doesn't shrink. Right. They actually stay in a good maybe about mm, marble size, mm -hmm. and then once the fish goes inside, it starts to shrink to like a BB. Huh. So that's the bacteria coming out and eating up all the ammonia and the nitrites. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's what I can say. Because so, I know you brought some to the auction. Yeah. So the top. So we're going to the top tank. That's the uh, uh, they call it the red saddle roaches, or yeah. some people call them the saddle hill stream roaches. So they got quite a bit of names. And then these angel fishes were they're called seal point angel fishes. Fairly new to the hobby. Some places call it the black tip angel fish, but they're fairly nice fish. I mean, they look like pandas almost, almost like yeah. a panda angel fish. Very nice finished black and then the eye stripes. Moving yeah. on, we got clown loaches, orange le loopies, we have uh, peacock uh, hybrids, at red empress, dragon bloods, and gold kill berry uh, pea bass. 
the pea basket came in kind of big. It was four. It's supposed to come in three inches, but then now they're four inches. Mm. So they're actually pretty nice. Bottom tank is somebody's tank. This actually was a secret pre-order I did um, about a week ago, and they just came in. The person is supposed to come pick up their fish sometime today or even tomorrow. Um, Alto Lapro locuses, Calvis, Blackfin, and uh, Redfin. Yeah, nice. Alright. Let's just do all of the way. And this is funny when we used to look at this earlier. It's yeah. like, oh look, it's dead. It's dead quarries. No, it's not actually dead. They're actually just hibernating at the top. So if I just poke them, not really poke them, but like swoosh them around, they'll like fly out of the bottom. <laughs> So these are like uh, long fin peppered. We have a whole tank. I keep all the quarries in this tank. The only reason being is because um, they're, I treat all my tanks with super cure and it has formalin inside. So I don't want the, you know, actual right. fish dying. Uh -huh. uh, so I treat them with uh, rock salt and furan too, because the bifuran is actually very good for the biological filtration. It doesn't mess with it like your other um, antibiotics that you read through mice and it kills that. Kills the beneficial bacteria. Mm. All right. All right. So oh, and get cardinal catches. Oh yeah, too. cardinals. Very little. Actually, the bag almost full. Almost the whole bag died. Oh wow. So well, now we you're able to save some. Yeah. So just gotta treat them. I gotta do some water. Do a water change for the furan is what's making the water yellow. Mm. All right. Next tank down, we have mono pea basses and. These guys is probably, uh, so I mean, I have the old pricing on top. It's just the same price, 15 bucks each. Pretty cheap. I was just at um, a local fish store today, and it was like 29 bucks for the same size. Yeah, that was cheap. Um, bottom tank, if you guys kind of see it, it's kind of dark. But we have yeah, some, look the top. some mo monster Judy Corridoras. Oh! Some there monsters, go. monster corridors. Oh, wait. Wow, okay, there you go. I had one there. I had one Julie that size. I was younger, but jeez. Yeah. There you go. And then got some three inch front toes and nice. some rare liparinuses. Oh, I see them. Oh, right. This is the one Carson was been wanting to see. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, these are the. the, top. the what is it? The summer? No, no, it's a dragon. They call it the dragon bandit puffer. Yeah, the bandit puffer. But these are yeah the dragon puffers and I, eleven inch fire eels in the back. They're hiding behind the sponge oh, filters. Yeah. See the tail? But yeah, I had one of these. Uh, Dada ick. So I have an arrowhead, but I may have to pick one of these guys up because I'm getting a new rack and love to keep one of these guys again. I love puffers that are this size. They're super, super fun. Um, yeah, not the most active, but I mean, just fun to have. But yeah, nice. I was gonna rip my net the other day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this tank we have albino long fin plecos. Nice. And, and then, we have black widow frontosas. The black widows are the ones with the more splotchiness inside the body. I love the, I love the patterns on the yeah. black widows. And the more copperish brownish color is the red frontosas. Okay. Yeah, nice. And then a the top tank. We have Lima shovel nose catfish in the driftwood. Oh. I always wanted one. And then the archers, archers that you, you got from Yeah, me. I already got some, but these are the size archers there for the muskrippers. Temporarily before these guys get massive and I gotta move them, but for now, they can live together with that size. Alright, so what do you have in here? Final tank. Uh, yellow flag tails. Is, so is the flag tails different, like since it's yellow? No, yeah, so these flag tails actually does not get bigger than um than 10 inches okay versus the red flag tails they get up to like like almost two feet. okay and then we have the trophies, trophies. the and canary chief this is a colony right a yeah. breeding colony there's a breeding colony in here so you only have one breeding colony yeah, yeah only one like... i only brought in one okay. i was gonna personally if nobody wanted to buy it mm -hmm. then i was gonna keep it okay well, but yeah. we have one more tank that you should look at and that's the xantic eel oh, yeah here we go the xantic eel which a lot of people wow. would probably love to see this. This is freshwater, freshwater Xantic eel. How rare is this? I've uh, never seen this before. It, it is fairly new to the hobby. Uh, okay. Someone had actually brought it in before I did. 
Oh, but, okay. So it's like a albino fire eel. Yeah, it's, something like that. But actually, it's a tire trap or a spiny oh, eel. Oh, okay. Albino version of it. Jeez, that's so cool. They call it the Xantic because it has the gray eye, actually. So the albino oh, actually has a purple oh, eye. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then you got some more kill berries and then some three inch clown roaches in here with them just to keep him calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels sick. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you so much to Shane for uh, the uh, for letting me do another tour. Probably be back here again. Um, but yeah, tanks. Awesome. Fish, awesome. So yep, uh, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, comment, do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.